My name is Justin Nesbitt. I am the Precision Metal Fabrication Instructor at Meridian Technology Center. This is my classroom. Um, outside of the classroom here we have our shop, which you will visit in just a minute. In my classroom, I have my safety bulletin board. Um, on this board, we have uh, rules and expectations. Uh, this includes the personal protective equipment, which the students are required to wear. <clears throat> we have the daily grading policy which also includes the school policy on grades and we have a locker list with a few other items on here. Uh, we also have our OSHA safety posters, uh, Meridian Technology Center's job opportunity uh, poster which sends the students to a website that lets them know of local jobs. Our welding uh, career path tree, uh, this helps some students uh, Maybe if they come in undecided or uh, are exploring options in the field, this has pretty well every direction you can go with welding and metal fabrication. And we also have uh, one of our evacuation maps set up on here just uh, so students know what to do in the event of an emergency. Over here we have a few signs. Uh, think safety sign, no running or horse play in the shop and eye protection required and hearing protection required. The idea was to put these by the door so as the students walk out every day safety's on their forefront of their mind. Uh, it's just to reiterate safety, make them think safe, remind them of eye protection and hearing protection and ensure that before they go in the shop each day that they're in the mindset to have a safe day at work. Alright, we're now out in the shop or the fabrication area. As with most welding shops, uh, there's many hazards here. Uh, before the students come out the shop door, they're required to uh, wear eye protection, earplugs, steel toe boots, and uh, long sleeves of uh, some kind of fire retardant material, as well as long pants that have, uh, are, are made of some kind of fire retardant material. Um, I'm going to cover real fast, I'm going to show a fire exit and I'm going to show where my material safety data sheet book looks located. So as you can see way down here, uh, that's one of our three fire exits that we have in the shop. Um, it's located uh, opposite of both of the other ones so we have good coverage uh, so you can get away from a fire in any direction. Here we have the material safety data sheet book. Uh, it's located publicly. Students don't have to ask me to view this. Uh, it's a public document to where they can view it any time that they feel necessary. Okay. Here we have one of our emergency shutoff stations, um, as well as some more uh, safety signs. Uh, the emergency shutoff station will shut down all main power sources here in the shop in the event of a fire or a machine malfunction. We have some reminders of hearing protection and eye protection. Those would be used at all times in the shop. We have our lockout tagout center, our first aid kits. Um, all of these are identified by a placard up top so they're easily noticed from anywhere in the shop. Um, we have our fire blanket and our fire extinguisher. A little bit farther down here, we have our sink and our emergency eye wash station. We also have our, uh, our exit plans uh, for intruder on campus, uh, tornado safety or fire. We have our tool room here. Alright, this is inside my tool room, which is also our intruder on campus and tornado safety uh, uh, shelter areas. Um, this is where I store uh, personal protective equipment. Uh, we have our, our welding hoods located in here. Um, we have our tool buckets, uh, pretty well any kind of tools that we might need. Um, various types of personal protective equipment. Uh, the students. The students generally come prepared with their own personal protective equipment, but there's a few items that they might need on a day-in uh, and day-out basis. Um, all that's located in here. And in this corner, we have another fire exit. Uh, 